Hey, fire signs. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your uh, love message from now until uh, the eclipse season. We're in eclipse season, so from today until I think the eclipse is July 2nd. Um, if you're connected to an air sign, holy hell, check out that message. Very strong, very beautiful, very amazing, uh, amazing message. So we'll thank Source for that. All right, so Aries, you have the lovers, Leo, you guys have the Queen of Pentacles, and Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the Eclipse season. What do they need to know? Well, maybe we'll get one for Sagis. Maybe they know it all. Just kidding. Okay. Okay. Speaking of Sagittarius, we got the Wheel of Fortune as your guys' shared energy with the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Okay. All right. Fire signs. So we'll start with your shared energy. Uh, you're really learning to go with the flow, to allow things just to happen in their own timing. Um, for some of you, it was like, things have to happen in my time. Are you coming back or not? Like, I'm ready. If you're not, see ya. And then, you know, it was just like, it was kind of a rush, rush. I want what I want and I want it now. And I don't have to wait. Um, but what a lot of you were finding is when you would rush people to come back, they, it didn't work out because, you know, you, you can't, you can't take the, you know, the cake out of the oven half baked and can't figure out why, you know, you can't, why it's still runny. Like, that's literally what I'm seeing. You pulling a cake out of the oven too soon. They weren't ready. So a lot of you were finding it very hard to release to give up, give it up to, to God, to give it up to source and allow things to happen. Fire signs are very impatient. They're very quick moving and they find themselves at the finish line and wondering where the hell everyone else is because they ain't got time to waste. Um, but you're really, you're really learning a very uh, important lesson that everything has a time, a place, a season, and with this eclipse, you're, um, you're receiving the beautiful, beautiful spring energy of things blossoming. Things coming in, you're starting to reap what you sow. Uh, good fortune coming in for you. What you have been waiting for. What at one point in time you were rushing, but instead you, you released and, um, became this beautiful blossomed flower yourself. Um, some of you in this time of releasing have really been working hard on self, working hard on your patience, working hard on your finances, getting your money in order. Um, you could have been rushing somebody into a relationship. You could have been trying to rush somebody out of a relationship. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, or another, or a Sagittarius here. Um, but by you, some of you are working on a marriage that was having trouble. The hard work is paying off no matter what it is, whatever you are wishing for, hoping for, working on releasing so something could come in is coming in for you. And it's going to come in in a very strong, structured, or not structured, a strong spiritual way. 
because you did the work on yourself, you did the work on your finances, and now, which you kind of see it represents kind of a wheel, now the wheel is turning in your favor. Now somebody is coming towards you very quickly. Even though it, it took quite some time to get this far, all of you have some good fortune come in from something that you had to release in the past. Whether it be timing, whether it be a person, whether it be a job, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, hoping for, or wishing for is coming in for you because you did the work in the off season. This eclipse is really focusing on heart chakra. It's really focusing on healing. I'm getting that a lot in my meditations. I'm feeling it a lot in my own you know, heart chakra, like the collective's um, need for healing. And that's coming for you. You have really put in the work, fire signs. And you're now a more spiritual, balanced individual. So you're able to equally balance a healthy relationship. For you, Aries, somebody you have been waiting on or somebody you had to make a choice for, the two of you are coming together. Um, either they are picking you, you are picking them, the two of you are meeting for the first time and it's meant to be something. This is a very strong connection that you have been waiting for and it's finally here for you. Especially you Aries men with Earth in your chart or Gemini in your chart. Um, because with the lovers, the choice is coming in once again with the lovers and the king of pentacles. So all your hard work is bringing you stability, making you grounded, sure of yourself, um, finding stability in more areas than just money, like your emotional stability, your spiritual stability, uh, your mental stability. I mean, it's, I laugh, but it's serious because sometimes in heartache in in feeling like it's not coming for us, it really fucks with our mental health. It makes us crazy. Temporarily for some, some it does some permanent damage because they don't heal it. So I laugh at that, but I'm being 100% serious. You're finding stability, Aries men, in every area of your life because you have put in the work of this healing in the time of waiting for this karmic wheel to turn, for the ups and downs of life. You were in the downside, all of you. But you worked your ass off to deal with that and prepare yourself for this positive karma coming in your way. And it is coming in for you, Aries men, in a very positive direction. For some of you, um, it's a same-sex relationship and an earth sign male is coming for you. A Gemini male. Um, for some of you, Aries uh, men, you were one of two men that uh, this person had to choose. And they are choosing you. And it's going to turn into a very strong, strong connection because this is meant to stand the test of time. It's your good karma paying you back for all uh, the things that that you put out good into the world, what you reap you sow, and, you're, and it's coming back in a positive way. Same with you, Aries females, very positive. You are getting this big opportunity for big love with somebody that you have really, really wanted to create a life with. Gemini uh, males are very strong here. They also had gem uh, the lovers in their um, first position, but it could be somebody with Gemini in their chart or um, or we got uh, water here as well. But this is a big opportunity for this loving relationship because you put in the work to find that self-love. You put in the work to learn how to fill that cup yourself all by yourself she's here doing the work all alone and in that time of being all alone in that solitude you found parts of yourself of your heart your soul that needed healed that needed mended you put in the work and you found yourself you found a way to fulfill your own cup and when you did that your vibration right rise rose to the occasion and now it is bringing in your energetic vibrating or your energetic match that perfect vibrating match um big 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 for aries females for a lot of you this is a divine partner you have the hair fit the ace of cups the lovers the wheel of fortune um this is a divine connection you've been waiting on you were waiting for them to choose are you going to leave that marriage or are you going to stay either way i don't care because i'm doing me 
and I'm fine with that. By you taking that stand, the Six of Pentacles, by you being very balanced in this deck, there's only one person, and they are balanced, and they are in their own, they're in their own realm of reality, and it's a good place to be. Um, and Aries females, you really found that in this time of being alone, and you most definitely are receiving love in a big way. Next card on the bottom of the deck is the Fool. So, congratulations for you, Aries. Very, um, very positive for you guys. All right, you Leos, Leo men, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Finding, uh, ooh. you are trying to find your feet again. Um, trying to find your own stability. Trying to figure out how to uh, heal. Heal, heal, heal. Because somebody walked away from you. Could have been an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo here. Especially with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody left you in the dark. Um, they made you think that the stability was here. They were loving and nurturing the connection. Heavy Taurus here. Um, they made you feel like this was good. We're good. This is awesome, right? And then they, you turned around and they were gone. And you were left to nurture yourself, provide for yourself, do your thing. Um, and it became very heavy on you with the Ten of Wands. Your bottom of the deck is stars. So there is healing here and there's good things coming your way. Rejection is God's protection. And I'm telling you, the next one that is coming in for you Leo men is going to be your blessing that you thought this person was. But by them walking away, by them um, leaving you in the dark, leaving you behind, and it can be vice versa. So if you were the one that left somebody, um, you're, you're really learning to stand on your own, provide for yourself that emotional, uh, that emotional investment. You know how to go to work, you know how to bring home a paycheck, you know how to support a family. This is all about how do I nurture myself? How do I make myself feel good? How do I make my heart feel like it felt when I was with them? Because when you truly can make yourself that happy, you've fallen in love with yourself. You have fallen in love with Source and you will bring in something far, far better than what walked away from you because with that lotus, that is growth, spiritual growth. And you can take a spin on the wheel any way you turn it, when it's spinning in the upward position, you're gonna land on a fortune. You're going to find yourself, and in turn, with all this hard work that you're putting in to figuring it all out, because this is very burdensome for you, Leo men. For some of you, you've never had to do this before. You've always had somebody there to nurture you, to show you the way, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the part of awakening, the part of the path that you guys are on right now, you're going to find that you will never, ever have to count on someone else to make you feel like that again in the positive because you can do it by yourself. And then when that person comes in for you, it's going to be such a high vibration, beautiful relationship because it's two people that know how to make themselves happy coming together to make it even better to where when one person is counting on someone else to make them happy, your your world rises and falls with the dependency of that person being in your life. And you're getting out of that. You're finding that healing, Leo men, and you're going to really, really hit the jackpot when you find that you can love and nurture yourself and the love you have for self will bring in somebody far better than, walk, than somebody that walked away from you. Their loss, your gain. Leo females, once again, healing of that heart chakra. Um, all right. So, Leo females, you are uh, very, very knowledgeable right now. Like, you know what it takes. You know what it takes to go nine to five, come home, whip supper in the oven, have laundry done, uh, you know, kids in bed, showered, and your feet up by 9 p.m., because you got it figured out. You know how to do it. You really do. You were faced with a decision, however. There was somebody at a distance from you, and you, there is somebody at a distance from you, um, Leo, female, that 
you couldn't seem to get off your mind. You had a choice to make about this person with the two of swords. So you were really faced with, do I continue to nurture a relationship where I am the only one, as you see the queen's the only one in that, in that card, do I continue to nurture a home life where I'm the only one putting in the work, where I'm the only one nurturing this connection, where I am the only one that seems to care if this relationship is in the ups or the downs. You came into contact with somebody at a distance, somebody that you are wanting um, to make a connection with. Remember, this can be vice versa. I'm actually seeing this both ways right now. So the choice is being made because both these came in the reverse. The choice is being made to close the distance from somebody that you have met that is not who you share a home with. Leo females, you also could be waiting on somebody at a distance from you to make a choice about somebody that they share a home with. Either way, decisions being made, the connection is manifesting and the distance is closing between the two of you, emotional and physical. The person that is coming in for you most definitely is a blessing to you. They are going to show you what it feels like to be in a truly loving physical, not physical, well yeah physical, but in a truly loving spiritual connection where you're not the only one doing all the work, where you're not the only one nurturing. Um, but this relationship, this connection cannot come in until a decision has been made by you to nurture and love yourself for one, which you do do, um, but for two, to make the choice of whether or not to physically leave somewhere where you live or not physically leave. Okay, let me rephrase that. You have to end one relationship and nurture yourself before the blessing of this connection will come in. Because this is a third party situation for you Leo females where you're the one with the choice, you're the one with the two, and you are making a choice. By you making a choice and moving into a place where you're busy working on yourself and uh, what you have to do, that's gonna bring the person at a distance from you, emotionally and physically, to you and creating this very spiritual connection. This is the right move. This is what, if your intuition, if this is what it is calling for you to do, but you're kind of questioning, kind of wondering, this is your wheel. This, or I mean, this is your good karma. This is what is coming in for you if you follow your heart, follow your intuition, and do what's best for you, Leo females, because I see you are putting in a lot of work with no, uh, no uh, equal take. You are giving, 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 and someone was taking, taking, taking. That's it. Instead of the the equal balance of this connection. So follow your heart, follow your intuition. It's leading you to a beautiful blessing. Um, just continue to work at, uh, yeah, your work, the work that you're putting into yourself, Leos, is bringing in this wheel. Look at the wheel. It looks exactly the same. The, all three of these cards have a wheel in it. That means big fortune is coming for all of you, fire science. Um, yeah, that karmic wheel is turning. When you release, when you let go, holy hell are, are good things coming in. Sagittarius, you are no exception to the rule. You are coming in with the Empress. You have come through a huge transformation. Huge. Could be dealing with a Taurus, especially Taurus moon or Taurus sun. Um, with the eclipse, but um, they could have Virgo or Sag in their chart as well, but it doesn't have to be. You're, you're finding who you are and you're leaving where you're at. Doesn't necessarily mean, I don't mean that physically, I don't mean it leaving a connection. You're leaving the old you in the past. You are really spreading your wings and you are really flying away. Um, leaving the old way that you did things in the past, no longer um, counting on somebody for your happiness, no longer counting on somebody for 
your finances, for what you receive or create in this world. You are on a whole new spiritual plane, Sagittarius, men and female. You are ascending to a higher level through this eclipse, through healing of that heart chakra. Speaking of healing, Sagittarius men, you could be dealing with somebody who uh, you are married to. This is um, the Empress and the Hierophant often are somebody you have children with, are married to. Um, Sagittarius men, you're experiencing a tower. And I was just saying healing when that came out. And the Ten of Swords. So you could be finding out your person has a is a you know has another relationship you could have been with someone and the whole time you didn't know they were married you could be with somebody and the whole time you didn't know there was somebody else <clears throat> there's something i'm gonna get one more for you guys actually because that's a big energy you could be finding out that your you okay sagittarius men you could have a third party you could have the third party and you're finding out they're pregnant. I just seen that. With the Page of Swords. You're finding something out about this person. Said Sherius Men. You're going to have to have the choice. Am I going to work on this? With the judgment? Or am I going to let this go? Is this my second opportunity? Or is it my wake up call to this person's never going to change? I'm seeing it both ways. Whatever way you are intuitively guided to take. Through this path of healing. This is not going to be easy to heal from, Sagittarius men. You probably have the hardest uh, situation to um, that you're up against. But you already know what this is. This has happened within the last couple days um, since in Taurus season. So it could have been April, um, April or May. You know about this tower. It's already shook you up. The betrayal has already happened. For some of you Sagittarius men, your spouse found out you had a mistress by doing some snooping. And you're hoping for a second chance. Once again, I repeat, the partners know about this. So if this isn't something you know about, not for you. The biggest message I'm hearing for you Sagittarius men though is sometimes or not sometimes, not once in a while, but always when we look back on the worst day of our life, it ends up being truly the best day of our life. Because in hindsight, we can see that all that pain led us to something more beautiful, more spiritual, something you actually worked for, so it means something for you. The, the heartache that you had to heal from whatever betrayal in the past was done to you, whatever happened, you're coming through a better person. You're coming through on a higher level. You're healing this heart chakra. By doing that, by experiencing that pain, by whatever happened in the past, you're now looking back and saying, wow, the best day or the worst day of my life ended up being the best day of my life. Because for some of you, by your ex doing this to you, it brought you to a place where you needed to heal, where you needed to put in the work, where you needed to fix this. But by doing that, you rose your vibration and now you're bringing in this beautiful person, mind, body, and soul, who is here to show you a whole new spiritual path, who's here to show you what a true connection is, because this is a high vibration connection. This makes you realize that all the work was definitely, definitely wor worth the blessing that's coming in for you. You're viewing your relationships, your love in a whole new way, because spirit is helping you see what this is all about. Very, very important, very powerful for you Sagittarius men. You're seeing what this whole journey is all about for some of you. 
you're seeing the world through a whole new set of eyes, transforming. Whether you're male or female, we all have uh, feminine and masculine energy. You're embracing the feminine energy within yourself, healing that heart. You're looking to the softer side of your genetic makeup, your yin and yang within your own self, and you're now seeing the purpose for your path. You're now seeing that you are transforming into somebody strong, balanced, spiritual, and it's going to bring in a windfall of blessings to repay you for all the hard work because what we reap, we sow. And it's about ready to pay off in a big way. The heartache was worth, the pain and the heartache was worth the, the windfall of love and blessings that's coming your way, I promise. Okay, Sagittarius female, why is this Empress here for you? Sagittarius females. Thank you. All right. So, Sagittarius females. Wow. Okay. So, you have been going through this transformation for, for some of you the last three years. Uh, for some of you, you just started your journey year in the last three months. Um, you had met somebody who put you on your spiritual path. Um, in the past, it was something that just couldn't get off the ground with the Six of Wands. You tried, you knew this person was um, like energetically your dude, your person, but um, just it wasn't able to successfully get moving. They could have already been in a marriage. They could have not wanted to put in the work. And it really, uh, it really brought you to a place where you were wondering if this is really your happily ever after with the Ten of Pentacles. Because they weren't successfully moving away from a completed cycle with another person. And you really felt like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I just get that panicked. I don't know what to do. And then you are now coming out of that transformation. You are now to a place where you put enough work in, in solitude by yourself, on yourself, that you found yourself. You really were forced to put in the work and successfully dig in deep and find the success within the divine, that wreath. This wreath is not given, it is earned. It is something you have to work hard for to get that divine knowledge of sense of self, to really know who you are. The Empress, she knows who she is. Yeah, she's sometimes the mistress and you more than likely were the mistress to somebody else in a relationship. But the Empress knows her strength, her beauty, her wisdom um, will bring her to a place where she can manifest what it is that she wants. You are going to have success with this Ten of Pentacles. You are going to find success in building the life and fortune that you want. Because in this time of separation from somebody, you really dug in deep. You not only have healed, balanced, and found yourself, you have found your financial freedom, you have found your independence, you have truly found who you are. And by doing that, you're successfully turning into that Empress vibration and going to manifest this Ten of Pentacles life and I love this card because she's by herself. The Empress can create a Ten of Pentacles life by herself. She's the only person um, besides the Emperor who vibrationally can manifest, can create the Ten of Pentacles, the happy life, happy family in her own energy. She's got that much power because she's not doing it alone. She's doing it with Source and her connection with her spirituality. This person has the divine knowledge. They not only have the spiritual knowledge, but they have the uh, know-how and the work ethic to put it into vibration, to successfully bring in this financial abundance, to successfully bring in that happily ever after. And boy, are you getting your payback now. Saggy females, you're ascending. You are riding that Merkaba up to ascension and you're going to manifest the spiritual connection that you desire 
this is bringing in your emperor because you put in the work you had faith you knew that there was success within the divine and now you're manifesting that into your life wow congratulations for those of you that resonates for okay for you guys is um uh, was our advice card for the day. Um, I am pulling from the Chakra uh, deck for, by Tori Hartman. Amazing deck. Love it. Okay, so your uh, first card um, is joy. So this is just finding the joy in the little things, the joy and pleasures in everything. Um, life's little blessings. Um, knowing that when you find and uh, acknowledge and truly truly know that everything in life is a gift your it's going to come back to you because the vibrational energy is literally letting you walk on air um it's a pure essence of joy that comes from detachment of the outcome i don't care if you come back i'm happy and that was in every single one of your guys's position it's truly finding joy in your path in your journey whether you're walking it alone or not and you're detaching from the outcome and it's bringing you joy. You're finally feeling that free because the purpose is to radiate what is inside. The, the powerful energy that projects forward, the secret to that is to detach from the outcome and be creative and what blessings, um, what lessons, what experiences can you bring in life that will bring you true joy and it will draw in assistance necessary wherever it needs to come from in achieving your goals. When you detach from the outcome of how it's supposed to look like and just know that this is how it's gonna feel, that's going to bring you in everything that you want. That's gonna bring in that wheel. Um, but you have to believe it, you have to persevere. Know that um, there is a big change right around the corner, but if you give up now, you're not going to get it. Um, you have to keep in that joy. You have to keep in that faith because um, it's, it's really about moving in your true feelings. Don't give up on what you truly want. Don't give up on what truly makes you happy. Um, focus on what supports you in this journey. Uh, you're gonna have a, a windfall of emotions. You're gonna have that heightened um, emotional like feelings during the eclipse you're going to because that's what the eclipse does it brings up things but um you're being an you're being offered a way to get something back on track if you can vibrationally feel the joy in what it feels like to have that it's gonna come in for you don't give up persevere because it's right around the corner um, for some of you, you are dealing with a blockage, which you think is a no. It's a turnaround. It's a give up. And that is not the case. Um, with impasse, what's done is done. You can't help that. But, and you could have experienced a great emotional upset in the past, like you Sagittarius guys. But it's not a time to turn around. You've made it this far. Don't give up up is what I can say. This is the end to that emotional upset. The power to change direction for the better is supported right now. Your angels are appearing to help you in the long run. So even though there's a block or you, what you feel isn't moving forward, it's not a block. It's a detour. Hey, it's not a no. It's not a block. It's not a give up. It's a you got to go the other way. Just because the path is not in the direct uh, line of traffic doesn't mean there's no other way to your destination. There's many, many paths to your destination, but the destination is the same. So don't think there's one path to happiness. Don't give up if what feels like this is too hard for me. It's not meant for me. Persevere. Know that you have to take different detours because you are at the cusp of everything you want. Everything that brings you joy or what you think will bring you joy or what you think is meant for you, if you can feel the vibration of what that feels like, I promise you, it'll be at your destination. It may not take the path you want, it may not look the way you want, but I promise you, whatever you feel is what vibrationally comes back to you. 
So if you want to feel true joy, know and find and feel joy in every day, every little blessing. Hey, I got out of bed today and was able to stand up on my own two feet. Awesome. Hey, I didn't burn my toast today. I'm feeling super excited. You have to be thankful. You have to be grateful for what you have in life before you can before you can bring in what you think will bring you joy. When you find the happiness in every day, every day will be happiness. And that's no joke. Perception is everything. If you perceive everything in a positive way, positive things will come to you. If you perceive everything in a negative way, you're never gonna get out of that negative headspace because it's just going to keep reflecting back to you. We are what we think and we create what we think. So find happiness, find that joy. Know that every day is a blessing and your blessings will start flowing into you. That's what I got for you today, Fire Signs. God bless.